for Kick Fam. If RQ fumble the bag in the next game against Dewa United, and if they win this one, they could get into the upper bracket. But let's see Beloisky again with that Mathilda. Well, game one and two, we saw a lot of purifies being brought. Game three, zero purifies. Zero. The conquest continues for Kick Fam. Beloisky and crew is looking for the upper bracket against Aura Fire. Just like the name implies, man, the geeks, it seems like in game one, we're just trying to read out the dragons. They have read a lot of different novels because they're geeks about the dragons. But Ooh. this one is not like any other, so they had to adapt. They're looking to <laughs> enter the dragon. Lair, dragon's lair. Enter the house of the dragon? Ooh. No, you don't know enter the dragon? Okay, never mind. We do, I know, Bruce Lee. Yep. But no chomp. But yes. <laughs> but again, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the early aggressions. Is Samuel screening Niall, Ooh, okay. forcing Niall to even uh, pop to purify. I don't know it will uh, help Van or not, but it seems like Van now, no, he will, does not want to go with invades here. Samuel, though, will, again, I expect with the talents that he has brought, right? Brave Smile as well as PYT here. So, no wilderness, but it seems like Beloisky might be caught. Beloy has entered the house of the dragons and he just gets burnt down by the dragons. They're not welcome here, flying lady. But Get away. Shit to handle for Beloisky, yes. He has to be careful, man. No brace might know uh, more. It's not like Samuel. He has the build in healing, even though Beloisky does have the dash, does have the shield, but against that many CCs and early game damage from Aran, too, it's hard to deal with. Very unfortunate, right? I mean, he popped and burned the flicker as well. And it seems like Aura Fire here with the early game that ha they have established, in a sense. Uh, Rotation-wise, they are ahead if you compare it to Niall. Hey, a boy. Looking for that level four, looking for that early game pressure on that turtle. But I'd say in terms of setting up the turtle, Aura Fire has the advantage. Let's see here. Seems like Luke is already dealing damage to Van in the back through the shield, but Van is still able to sustain quite a bit right oh. here. Niall wins it despite it all. Now it's a taunt onto Luke, who's still able to escape, and Geek Fam get a good win early on with a neutral objective secure. Martis winning against the Frederick. Ooh, okay, a bit too close no, there. No. Oh my goodness. Decimation. Beloy with the circling eagle gets out and Sin is forced back. Nile pushing the issue even further. Oh my goodness. On the Martis against the Frederick. Decimation in the back. Oh no! Nile! He got the kill! But he gets traded in the turret. Meanwhile, there's a spear to kill Sin. Now it's the boxing time for Iran. Two jabs, one more. A boy's flying on the walls, and Aran will decide to leave it open. Oh, oh, oh Ooh. my god. That feint almost got me. Bit too much chaos in the early game right now. They're definitely bringing the fire. But again, oh no, actually, it's a 4 to 2 split. I don't know if uh, Mirko is rooting for Geek Fab or, yes. or a fire. But let's see. Let us see. Well, again, circling here, popped by Samo. <laughs> but it seems like here, not Samo rather, but by. Beloisky, but I do expect an aggressive early game here. Not just from one side, but from both sides, which you see. Three minutes in total kill of six points. That's a lot. Oh Kabuki, quite low. All right, Beloy, Wait, this side, just with a guiding win. Kabuki popped. No, he didn't pop the sprint. It looked like he got a, a burst of movement speed, but it was from the quantum charge. Circling Eagle, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh Beloisky goes ooh, to the ooh, other ooh, side. Ooh. Oh, he breaks the flicker. What a savant. No one does that! <laughs> oh my god, it is, this guy is way too aggressive, man. Like, you're playing with my heart. Beloy, big boy Beloy with a big boy play. Every time, the ult is there, is just no... Like, always pulls the trigger, Connie. <laughs> Double B, man, Beloy bluff. It will again <laughs> with the circling eagle bluff. And it seems like that time, Samo burnt his flicker for nothing. Beloyski this oh time, though, god. will commit to a circling eagle, but again, has claws early here already for Kabuki. Normal time, four minutes in, right? Let's see though, will it pop off in action or will he need to farm again? Again, turtle though, let's see. Oh, they're going on Samo. They don't even care about the turtle right now. Samo not in range. Oh. And Niall just out Rectory's web straight up. Sid now getting caught in the decimation. Beloy with the soul blooms gets the kill. An absolute disaster for the dragons. 
The Geeks are running wild on Aura. And Niall, still in the enemy jungle here, trying to steal the orange buff. No retreat to Van's name. It's Aran who gets it with the knockout strike. It's value <laughs> for the Geeks. Oh, man, you can just see the blooming potential of Matilda, man. Every time he has the ult, just not shy at all. And look at the trade. To a mid laner, you can pop the ultimate, and you can still beat full HP. Meanwhile, on the opposing side, Sin cannot join the team fight. Huge trade before the turtle even begins. Man, our fire. <laughs> oh, BB, BB. Oh, BB. Look at the trade. Doesn't matter. It's always value. No. Hold up, Samo. Seems like Beloy. Oh, Divine Judgment. Locking Beloy down. That's a flicker. Van with a red tree, with a taunt. But now Nile has come back in. That's Bruno using the first kill. Still Van. Oh, Brains is wrath. No! Oh, getting boinked. Ouch. Say goodbye to Beloyski. That was a big bonk. That was a BB. That was a BBB. Big bonk on Beloyski. <laughs> this time our fire. Great calculations, great synergy as well, Sheffin. They were able to punish Beloy, who seems like in this third game was getting a little bit too comfortable. A bit too hasty right now, right? Because I think it makes sense, right? You have Matilda with a lot of uh, utility that you have, but now uh -oh. in trouble. Almost. Ooh. No way! Oh my god! And a falling star moon by Luke. He knows there's no divine judgment. Just walks up and then backs out. Arando holding his ground in the enemy jungle. 10 seconds for the last turtle to spawn in the game. 1.4k code lead for Geek Fam 2. They definitely have the advantage. Oh my god. Especially like this. Oh, the damage. Oh Jeez. my god. Am I just getting Sid 1 HP? One basic attack. Beloy! Is he a roamer? Is he a mage? Or is he an assassin? He's a bird. Flying through the air and combined with Navaria. Oh, he's in trouble though. Kaka! No oh, way! Boy! Marky! What a play! And Marky capitalizes on it. Niall against two with the help of Luke. It's a 2v2 up top. Around now, locked down with the Falling Star Moon. The shielding won't help him here. Luke dealing so much damage, and that's oh, an astral wow. sphere. One more hit from Luke. Knockout strike coming down. Niall versus Van. It's Niall! Aran gets slain and it's all Geek Fam! Mr. Nile is inevitable! Three off of three on the turtle as Marky takes down the bottom turret, but Big Boy Beloy with a Big Boy play once again! Oh, do it, do it! No, oh, he doesn't, want it. He doesn't have it. Yeah, I mean, the PH duo in the Land of Dawn right now seems like they're having a party. Or a fire. Different story. Uh, take a look at. Irithel here behind 700 gold, not too significant, but considering that already Berserker Fury in the hand of Bruno, that's nasty, man. Oh, but what? What is this? What? I've never seen that. What an interaction. <laughs> you can cancel the Divine Judgment with the Circling Eagle. Oh, what? my God. That's I unfortunate. Have... Flickers out. Nile Mortal Coil. Van unable to catch anyone. Now gets poked down. Now even the world he used up. What was that, bro? <laughs> I, I I am at loss for worse as Nile. Just styling. Doesn't really do anything, but oh my goodness, winning on 2v12. Kick Fam is cruising through the deck. Dragons right now. They want to eat it. Oh my god, another circling eagle from Beloy. Samo gets zoned through the Mathilda ult. Kaka! Kaka indeed. And again, Geek Fam, 5,000 gold lead already, eight minutes in. Things are not looking too shabby here for the side of the Red Dragon. Oh, oh, well, oh, Lord. You think that Fan is one of the best retribution in MPL Indonesia, but right now, Niall, the rookie, is outclassing Mr. Van Slot, uh -oh. Mr. Van Trin. Okay, that's a falling star moon perfectly placed down. That's a decimate to the face. And Iran can no longer run. And the synergy in Geek Fam again. It seems like in the first game they were just warming up. Second game, sure. Picked it up a notch. Third game, take a look at this. Below 10 minutes, already 5,000 gold lead and two inner turrets left standing here for Side of Aura Fire. So, map control wise, synergy wise, rotation wise, Aura Fire, they're far way behind. And again, it seems like Geek Fam, they're getting a little bit too comfortable here. And just opening they're gonna pull the trigger the again. Novaria again. Astral Echo. Beloy. Guiding win. Kaka on to Sin. And there you go. He's holding it in. The damage comes through. And Luke gets it. The cancel there. Beloy will fall, however, through the hands of Aran. That's a two-man Astral Sphere connect. 
all in the me- Oh, Marky, 1v1, flicker forward, bam! What is It's Marky who wins it! Now we get Sam! Oh, oh my god! Oh! From the Bruno! Hat trick for Mr. Marky! Oh my goodness, he's looking like Ronaldinho right now! Bang, bang, bang. That's three bodies in the land of dawn from Zed of Aura Fire. And they look for more. It's the emo battle. Oh my god. Another spear into the blade of Nile. Just insane, man. The mid control from early game to mid game from Beloyski and a boy. They have zero tank as compared to Samo HD. Look at those damage. Woo. That's a tank, by the way. A single Nefaria balls. That is why Bruno is so prio. You can see here the base turret in the mid lane will be the target. And it seems like for now, Aura Fire will be able to defend that. It's a guiding win to bring Marky back. That's a Lord marching down. A circling Eagle. Another one from Beloy. Just plays out and knocks in up. <laughs> Literally circling, man. The Trident from the Lord will take down the turret with the help, with the help of some balls from Marky. <laughs> Just... Too much balls to handle, man. You have Navaria, you have Bruno as well, can just dish you out over and over uh -oh. again. But Aran might be doing an Aran special, but against Beloisky, which has oh stopped my God, by the wall. Wait, they're all, this is personal. Oh. This is really personal. All five members, Circling Eagle, Astral Echo, the whole lot. Why? Why do they need to do that? Five ultimates. Oh, oh they really hate Aran. <laughs> oh my God. Take a look at Aran's face now who is still waiting for him to come back. 10,000 gold lead in economy for Geek Fam. And take a look at the recalls, man. More than 10,000 recalls already made in this game. And now, without minions, they will take the mid lane turret. Nile just tanks it up, and Marky shoots. Tanks it like a chat. Doesn't matter whatsoever. You have Bruno to take down uh, the turret, but goodness gracious, the long-range threat. Beloisky's there. He can just... Circling Eagle and get out, there's no threat whatsoever, especially we've seen the interaction between Defiant Judgment and a Circling Eagle. I don't know how that works, but combined with the Navaria snipe from a boy, it is more than lethal, especially towards Kabuki, that doesn't have any magic defense whatsoever. Remember, Mathilda has been buffed damage-wise too. God, item-wise, again, great Dragon Spear already built. And take a look at the gold gap between Bruno and Erythel, man. Three and a half thousand oh. gold. That's not good. Considering that Erythel, yeah, just three items in hand. A Hasklaus, Berserker, and Wind of Nature. Not oh, enough items. Oh, not God. again. Oh, not good. again. Uh, cancellation there. Oh, my God. How does he keep doing it? Appraiser's Wrath not connecting. Lord spawning in the land of dawn. 12 minutes in, it's a 10,000, about to be 11,000 gold lead. So, is this just how to counter Kaja now? We had the Kufra, now we have the Mathilda. Oh, Beloy! No, I'm not even surprised anymore. Like, this is just staple Beloy. Just circling Ego. This is disgusting. Just circling. Oh my god, no! They're doing it Aran. again! Aran? Still able to run away this time. Okay. okay, so no pure lockdown, no five ultimates this time. <laughs> 12k gold late for Geek Fam. And they're looking to. That healing. What? My goodness. That photo, man. Okay, but still, the flash, flash of OS is uh, passive is gone, so that is still a point plus for Kabuki. On a short cooldown, though. Yeah. I just get, no, there you go. <laughs> Already full HP again. Now it's an astral echo. Even to the back, Samo That's gets it. hit by it. Let's see, Falling Star would lock him down. Kabuki taken low. Uses spin already. That's a circling eagle knocking Samo up. Samo still has the divine judgment now. Aran comes in with a knockout strike. Kabuki gets full HP back again with a life steal. Glowing one built. Van pulling the Lord into the top lane. No commitment from Geek Fam. They cannot dive in Aura Fire's base. What is the solution here at this point? I think Samo actually has somewhat, somehow has to use that divine judgment onto someone. But who is it? Oh, circling Eagle, man, again. Now four, man. Astral Echo into a spear. Oh! Van forced back with Samo. Samo's looking for the Divine Judgment, but I don't think going on Beloy would be a wise choice. And it's three base turrets now gone for Aura. Geek Fam, 13,000 gold lead. Goodness, high ground wise, they're still okay. Why? I mean, Lilia, you have Erythel as well. That is okay in clearing 
the minions, right? And that is why we saw no commitments from side of Geekfab because it is quite hard to pull that trigger going up against this sort of composition on the defense. Though, Ooh, now you can see here Immortals being built. Why? Just to have that extra security that if and only if Marky is caught. Yeah, I have Immortality. Also, Luke here. So, again, Geekfam, they're playing it the discipline route here, perhaps waiting for a whole minute for the Lord to be up. But, oh my god, he's getting damage! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh! Almost an assassination 1v5! Holy moly! It's wow, what? What is his build? Is he doing? Is he building damage at least? Does it make sense? That is your Roma, He has by a the talisman way. and a crystal! Yeah... Yeah, it's for your Roamer, and you can see the damage dealt earlier. It was 50k. Poloski was on the second place out of all the players of Geekfam versus Aura Fire. Meanwhile, the whole entire squad of Aura Fire was, was 6 to 10. This is an absolute domination from Geekfam. It is. What? Conceal. Aura screening. Oh, he, they get screened instead. Ouch. 4,000 gold lead, by the way. The two gold laners. Mm -hmm. Malefic War, they're already in hand for Ru for Gabuki. So there's penetration that perhaps if Geekvam has physical resist in their itemization, still though, Kabuki can deal towards that damage. Now it's all a matter of what the setup. Kabuki can deal damage, but if he's not careful here, the damage oh. cannot be maximized. Let's see though, an engage oh. top side. Mortal Coil. Everything used up. Knockout strike to disengage. Oh, Beloit. no. Dashing forward. Fraser's flat. Giving him HP right now. That's an Astro Spear connecting all the three members. Divine Judgment locking Nile down, but he's so, so tanky. Oh. Now the help of Falling Star and Decimate as well. Those are some big worldy plays. And that's an Astro Spear to the back. Marky getting brought back by the Guiding Wind. Now dealing a lot of damage. Aura Fire still defending. Kiting back. Luke taking low. But with the help of Beloy, he still is able to sustain. It's... 4v5. Nile walking up. Beloy with the circling eagle now knocking a run up. The falling star mood not connecting a run. Running to the other side of the map right now. Trying to bait them. Trying to cut the waves perhaps. As Geek Fam will look to chase. Alone. A soul a run. Luke onto it. Marky one hit should do it. Samo's walking up. Ooh. And they get a run back to safety. Whew. Okay. So a whole lot of immortalities from Geek Fam. They know they're facing. It's actually five immortalities, I believe, for Geek Fam. They're facing a Samwage D with the Divine Judgment, so I like the respect, the proper respect given, but at this point, does it even matter? <laughs> yeah, at this point here, even the Bruno has opted for the barefoot Bruno, so he's kicking that, those balls without the shoes. But see, though, um, again, out of fire here, they're, they need oh, to defend up at Beloyski, man. Beloyski bluff. BB. BB. Now with the Lord push, question is, right, can Aura Fire defend this with their base uh, literally exposed? I think it depends on the boy landing his shots or not. This is the, uh, I'd say the, it's a bit of a hit or miss for Aura Fire. It's definitely going to hit for some time, but Beloyski, once again, he won't dodge it. No way! Five-man Astral Echo, Beloyski has baited Kabuki's heavy crossbow. That's a falling star moon, locking Kabuki down, doesn't have the spin right now, but the Lord is already crashing down into the base with the round, using the knockout strike, but now gets caught in the decimation! Unstoppable for Niall! Luke walking up, trying to buy some space, Marky is free hitting in the back right now, but Sid is doing the same! Ooh. Now the base targeted down by Marky! Geek Fab reverse sweep in this series up against the Dragons! Upper bracket chance, still alive. It's definitely still alive. Now, all that's left is to hope that the kings of kings, the royalties of the game, fumble the back in the next game. But Geek Fam, do not underestimate Marky. Is the message that Coach Airbang is trying to say. Filipinos Yee! rise up! <laughs> Yeehaw! Says Baloyski when he is on the circling eagle. And yeah, don't underestimate Marky, man. Nobody's under underestimating him, Mirko. I think everyone was underestimating Marky. You gotta be honest, Speak everyone. For yourself. Speak for yourself. Hey, bro. Everyone was <laughs> underestimating Marky. Even the Filipinos in the chat were underestimating Marky. Everyone were underestimating Marky. But it seems like he has this redemption in this match. What a bounce back. Definitely, what, what a bounce back. What a recovery. Yeah. Oh, Aura Fire with the nothing to lose mindset. Unfortunately, their journey in MPL ID Season 12 
will come to a close. Nice try, good game for 